Okay, so I've got a question for you. What kind of dogs do gold panners like the most? Uh, the answer is golden retrievers. All right, life is too short not to tell some dad jokes sometimes. I've got lots of them, but anyway, I just want to bring some humor to you as we bring you some education as well. So how do I learn about my best deals? I've done some amazing deals, met some amazing people, had some great returns, some great deals. How do I find out about the best deals? The best deal that I've done kind of consistently has been our ATM fund. And I think about how I heard about that. I, I wasn't just saying, hey, I'm going to invest in the ATM fund. I heard about it from a friend who gave a big endorsement. Uh, I just thought, man, I haven't used an ATM in, in years. Who's using ATMs? I didn't realize 10% of the U.S. population doesn't even have a bank account, right? They're using uh, prepaid debit cards, other things, and they're using ATMs quite frequently. So some of my best strategies in multifamily alternative assets, uh, car washes, oil and gas, other types of deals, even deals that are just private deals, I hear about through individuals. And I'm going to talk about how I learn, how I develop those relationships, and how you can as well. I'm going to go over in three simple steps. I'm going to share a great quote for you at the end. So let's jump in. All right, all right, so my name is Bronson Hill. I'm the CEO of Bronson Equity. We do multifamily deals like this. We also have a bunch of uh, other alternative assets that I mentioned. Um, I wanna talk about networking, networking, networking. Now you may say, Bronson, I'm a passive investor. I don't need to network, right? Because I that's why I don't, that's why you network, Bronson. I don't know, you bring me deals versus not. Well, I know a guy who's a full-time passive investor and he spends close to 30 hours a week just simply networking. And once I asked him, I said, why do you spend so much time doing this? He said, well, I want to hear about great deals. And it takes time to network and talk with people and learn about their deals, whatever. And then they send me their deals as well. So that's how, if you wanted to get in a deal flow, you've got to be willing to network. Um, Charlie Jones has this quote. He says, you're the same person five years from now, except for the books you read and the people that you meet. So the books you read, that's like education, like what we're doing right now. These videos are educational, but there's also the people you meet, right? You don't know when you go to an event, you just never know. I've gone to events and I've made connections that have made me millions of dollars, right? Just from people that I met at those events. I either raised millions of dollars or we partnered together. We, uh, I, can tell, I can tell you story after story of ways that it's just absolutely changed my life going to events and networking. And so as a passive investor as well, it's important to go to events. Um, I, I would say one of the most transformational relationships you can have is by meeting other passive investors. Now, uh, we have our investment group. We educate, obviously we wanna educate people, but we're, we're, we're sharing our deals. We, we, I'd love every single one of you to join our, our deals, right? That's great. So I have a bias, right? I want you to join our investment stuff and all operators will have that same bias. But a passive investor, they uh, don't. They don't, you know, they're typically just doing it because they're trying to make money and they want to help other people and they want to give back. So that's a very transformational relationship when you start meeting other uh, passive investors because they'll tell you, hey, I like these guys. Don't work with these guys. Here's my experience here. Here's what I like. Here's what I don't like. And it's just amazing what can open up when you have that type of relationship. So uh, the second thing really is podcasts. Podcasts are an amazing way to be able to grow your network. Now we have the Mailbox Money Show. Uh, it's a top podcast. If you haven't checked it out, we do uh, you know, videos on this channel as well. We're also doing uh, audio podcasts wherever you find your podcast, The Mailbox Money Show. We've had amazing guests on there, but we have um, our uh, we have our deal uh, investor deal list, right? We have our, our deal flow where people can join. They can set up a call. They get on our investor list, and so and we're not the only ones. We have people on our shows that they have uh, investor you know clubs as well, so people can join or. Um, you can listen to other podcasts and they'll let you know about their clubs, which is huge. You know, we have about 1,200 people currently on our list and it is growing every week. We're doing calls every week. I've actually personally done over 1,500 one on one phone calls with high net worth investors. And it's just amazing to me to find people uh, investing in themselves about learning about deals. It's very educational when you get on the phone with somebody and you ask questions and, you know, how this go? What happened here? You know, there's a whole set of questions you can do. And I actually, on my book, uh, Fire Yourself, which just came out, I have a, a process in here about how you vet a deal, how you vet a sponsor, a whole chapter dedicated to that. And, it, you know, it's, it's great. It's great to be able to get on. Uh, more people's deals because you'll get a better sense of deal flow and a better uh, you, know, you get much more stuff coming to you that's super valuable. So, um, so that's the second thing is podcast. Third thing is really to target high value people. Uh, what do I mean by high value people? What I mean is people that typically are influencers. It could be a well-known passive investor. It could be you know just somebody who's who's in the mix of a lot of deals. So for me, I get a lot of deals sent to me because I'm I'm someone in the mix. So what's what a great thing to do is to go to someone and tell them, hey, I'm looking for this type of deal, right? To ask for what you need. And then the second thing is, uh, and I maybe we'll do this before you ask, is just really ask yourself, what does this person need? And try to find a way to bring value to them. I actually have a friend who's amazing at this. 
who has got to know some really famous people just simply by, by thinking through, okay, what, what does this person need? Do they need an introduction? Do they want to meet this person? Whatever. And just continue to ask how they can help, how they can serve, how they can bring value to this person. Because if they can bring value there, there's this thing in, in Robert Cialdini's classic book called Influence. He says, we have this human need that if someone is uh, gives to us, we, we have to be reciprocal and we have to give it back. And it's not always one for one, right? It's like somebody does something small, we have to find a way to pay it back. So it's amazing how if we just simply help and serve other people, something will open up. Now there's two examples I want to share of people that have done this very well. Um, you know, there was, a, there was actually there was a case where I did it where I found somebody that um, brought me to an opportunity because I had a relationship with them and I found a way to bring some value. They actually brought me in as a, uh, a deal that I, I got a 50% return uh, in less than a year, right? Which is great. I mean, it's awesome to have. And that was a private deal. It wasn't like a well-known deal. It was a small deal, but it was still like, it was awesome to be a part of that. Um, the second one is, um, I knew a guy that to, for closing, he was a guy that we called because there was a deal that uh, just needed to have a little more money to escrow. And we needed $2 million uh, really for about a day or two just to have it in escrow so this deal could close. And it's kind of a long story, but he made 100K uh, or about 5% um, in about two days, about a day and a half. Right, so that's a huge, huge return. Just like, hey, you've got two million. And it's an incredible way to just, just because he was someone that was a high value person that was in the loop. And so just kind of in summary of this, you know, uh, you, you find what you look for, you know, go to meetups, go to conferences, listen to podcasts, um, you know, really continue to get out there and learn about what's out there through meeting people and find a way to bring them value. And as you do that, uh, there's this reciprocal nature that people want to give back to you. So I hope you do that. I hope that for you, you're finding a way to gather amazing deals and people around you that will help you to get the type of deals you're looking for. And um, I want to share this quote with you. It comes from William Penn Adair. It says, uh, find out where people are going and buy the land before they get there, right? Just can you anticipate where people are going to go? What's going to be next? What's coming up? Um, I think that's a great quote. Um, if you're interested in more about networking, I've got a, another video I did about specifics in networking, things you can do when you're in the room. Like, okay, now you're at an event. Well, what do I do? What do I say? I'm an introvert. How do I work through that? Check out this video up here. You're really going to like it. It's just much more detailed about networking and, and what you can do to just go to the right events and make sure when you show up, you're getting the most out of it. Um, so if you haven't joined our investment club, you're not hearing about our multifamily or oil and gas or ATM machines, car washes, check that out. You can check it out the link below. Go to bronsonacomedy.com. You can also uh, get a copy of my book on Amazon or you can get the first couple chapters on my website. Uh, but anyway, thanks for taking the time to educate yourself. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next video.